Hello guys, welcome once more to Class Online. My name is Mr. Dami, and in this edition, I have a lot of fantastic questions in physics that I want you that we will be sharing together. Now we shall be eating physics in the hard way, and we shall be breaking it down. Jam physics 2011. This is question six to ten, and we shall be destroying a lot of difficult questions in this edition. Don't forget, if you learn something from this series and you want to get more content that will better help you understand physics. Click on like button, we have a lot to share with you that will help you understand a lot in this. Let's get to the question number six. An object of mass two kilograms moves with a velocity of 10 meter per second around a circle of radius four meter. Calculate the centripetal force on the object. When you hear the word centripetal, what formula will come to your hand to your mind? Do you remember any formula on centripetal? That is actually very simple. Centripetal force is equal to mv squared over r, where m is mass and v is what? velocity right and your r is your radio and that is just all you have in the question this is like kg1 work and that is just it what's my mass mass is what two and what's my velocity is actually um 10 squared over my radius is four and that's just it and there's two times 10 squared is 100 two times 100 divided by four two times 100 is 200 divided by four is 50 and that is a simple answer to the simple question 50 newton let's get to number seven if it takes an object three seconds to fall free to the ground from a certain eye what is the distance covered by the object do you have any idea what the distance might be now this is actually a motion question so it has to use the um, equations of motion right now what equation of motion has all these parameters let's break it down so this is what you do it is falling right that means that it is falling. That means the final velocity is zero okay uh okay then my acceleration due to gravity g is 10 meter per second square and my time is three seconds it's four within three seconds then what will be the distance that's s now the what equation of motion has all these parameters u g t s it is actually s equals u t plus one over two g t square and this is the one that has all the parameters right then i'll now plug it in so my distance is s right i'm finding s right s equals what's my u zero times time t cancelled zero times t is cancelled then one over two g is ten then t squared that's three squared and three squared is nine nine that's three times three times ten that's ninety so that's ten times um nine is 90 divided by 2 and that's 45 meter so the total distance is just 45 meter please don't forget that this is a motion question and we use the um, um equation of motion s equals ut plus 1 over 2 gt squared that is super simple number eight says um um the diagram above shows the position of a cone the position which can be described as the neutral equilibrium is what now actually this is called on there are, there are three equilibrium positions stable unstable and neutral this is unstable why why what is unstable it is the equilibrium position that if you push it a little any little tilt it will fall and at this point if you push this thing a little this cone it will fall over so it is said to be in unstable equilibrium at this point it is stable it's balanced if you push it a little, it will fall. That's called stable equilibrium. But this one is, is not stable, it's not neutral. It can only roll. And that is called um, neutral. It is not stable, it is not unstable. It can only roll. And that's called neutral equilibrium. And that is the answer. Z or Z is the answer to the question. So the answer is actually, like I have it here. This is stable, this is unstable, and this is neutral. So the answer is actually Z. And that is a simple answer to the simple question. Number nine says, if a tube or small radius open at both ends, is placed in a liquid, the liquid will what? Now, if you put a tube with small radius, sorry, if you put a tube with small, like if you put a straw inside liquid, inside Fanta, okay, you put a straw inside Fanta, okay. Now, what will happen? The liquid will what? Fall below. The liquid level if the liquid does not wet the glass rise above the liquid level if the liquid does not wet the glass remain at the same level irrespective of whether the liquid wet the glass or not fall below the liquid level if the liquid wets the glass now the answer is very simple if you put a straw that is a capillary tube tube this is a question on capillarity now if you put a straw in liquid if the liquid like here is water and here is mercury right 
water with glass so therefore the water in the straw will rise so if the liquid wet glass it will rise if the liquid like mercury does not wet glass if it does not wet glass it will not rise it will fall so the answer is it, it is going to rise the liquid will fall below the liquid level if the liquid does not wet glass like mercury case like you have it here it will fall if it does not wet glass and that's it is falling here because mercury does not wet glass if, if, if you put mercury on glass it will not wet it will not splash like water it will just form ball because mercury cannot splash it cannot wet glass it can only form a ball and that is the answer it will fall below if it does not wet glass and that is the answer now um but a and b says rise above the liquid level if the liquid does not wet glass that's not true if it does not wet glass, mercury does not rise it doesn't rise so that's wrong then C says remain as level. That's not true. Fall below if the liquid wet glass. So and that's here water wet glass here, but water does not fall below. So that's wrong. So the answer is A. Number ten says density of liquid depth below density of the liquid depth below the source of the liquid source A are liquid. In which of the statement above will pressure be dependent? Now pressure pressure depend on what? The pressure acting on an object depends on what? Is it density or depth or surface area? The answer is actually what? Do you have any idea? Is it one, two, three, or two and three, or one, two, and, or is it two and three? Pressure in liquid depends on this formula H, G, M, H, density, and what? G. Now, where my pressure is what? P. My H is my depth. Then the this one is density and this one is acceleration due to gravity that means pressure is majorly affected by the depth and the word density so density of liquid affects the pressure of liquid the answer is just the formula for pressure in liquid you know so like i have it here so here is now depth or height affect then also density affect that this is density but surface area of liquid does not affect um, pressure in liquid so this is wrong so the answer is one and two and that is the answer so a is this is actually not correct the answer is just c is c one and two because the pressure in liquid is dependent on what on the um depth or the height and the density and that is the answer like you have it there and that is the answer for so that means like you, you, you can see this water here the higher the height the more the world pressure you can see at this point there's less pressure higher pressure than the highest pressure is the more the higher the higher the pressure and that is the answer for number 10 and that, and that brings us to the end of this video don't forget if you learn something from this video i want to get more content that will better help you understand click on like button we have a lot to share with you guys until we see you guys take care of yourself and bye for now